Hello there. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Dr. Katherine Garforth and today I have the pleasure of talking to Dr. Jennifer Buckingham. Today we're going to be speaking about orthographic mapping. Now is there any other way of remembering words without visual memory? Uh, remembering them in what way, I suppose? <laughs> it's a difficult question to answer. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's a question that someone... Yes, so we, we remember words that someone has told, just spoken to us. You know, if someone tells you their name um, and it's a name, um, whether it's a familiar name or an unfamiliar name, you can remember it um, without having seen it. Mm -hmm. Having said that, you're much more likely to remember it if you've seen it spelled um, and you've seen it written down because of that, um, or if, if, even if you haven't seen it, but they've, ex they've told you how it's spelled. So you then can create a mental representation of the spelling. And again, that's another thing that leads us to, to believing that the orthographic mapping um, concept is a really solid one. Um, and uh, adds more evidence to that. So all three of those things um, need to be in place for a word to be um, really strongly embedded in, in long-term memory.